Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're talking about how to turn Pitbull 4 into a healing monster. If you haven't uh, watched my Pitbull 4 tutorial, I suggest you do so because it does show how I set up this little setup here and, and uh, kind of the general aspects of Pitbull 4. Um, but today we're talking about healing in Pitbull 4. For this I've added two add-ons. One is Pitbull 4 Aura Bar, A-U-R-A-B-A-R. -A -A the other one is Cleek, C-L-I-Q-U-E, Cleek. Um, and those are the two that I've added. Now, one thing that Pitbull 4 has by default is it'll highlight anyone that has a debuff on them that you can dispel. So that's automatic, and you can actually go in and change those settings if you want, but that's a pretty cool feature. But otherwise, to make a healing add-on, these two add-ons are kind of useful. Um, what I'm doing is opening my Pitbull 4 unit frames. Okay, I'm going to switch to raid because I only want what I'm doing to affect my raid frames over here on the right. And what uh, what Pitbull 4 Aura Bar did is, in the Bars tab, it added this tab, which is Aura Bar. And I'm going to enable it. I'm going to remove the default one. I'm not quite sure why they put it there, but they do. And then I'm going to create a new bar, and you'll see what it does in just a moment. I'm going to call it PWS. Okay, center means that it's going to be centered across the bar. I'm going to change the height to 1 because I want it really small. Okay, uh, I am going to show auras of other players, show on friendlies, and hide empty bar. And the aura to watch is power word shield. Needs to be typed exactly as it reads in the power description. <clears throat> Always click OK, otherwise it doesn't take. Same with up here, when I entered one I had to hit enter or it won't take. And I'm going to custom color this. I'm going to make it blue. Now, the one last thing I want it to be is I want it to be on top of the health bar. And so that's in position. I just click on one, and that puts it on top. It switched those positions for me. Now when I cast my Power Word Shield, it puts this bar up here, this little blue bar that ticks down for 30 seconds. Now if uh, someone's attacking me and my Power Word Shield is depleted, it will disappear before that 30 seconds is over. So it is intelligent that way. That bar is a little bit wide still. I don't like it that wide, but I think the reason for that, because it doesn't normally show up that wide when I'm playing, I think it's because I'm in a windowed mode that's a little bit small for the purposes of this, of this uh, video. So I think that's why it's showing up wide. Now the other thing I want to track is I want to track the debuff of Power Word Shield, which is Weakened Soul. Uh, for 15 seconds after you cast it, Weakened Soul is on someone, and you can't recast uh, Power Word Shield until that goes away. So I want to track that. I'm going to put that at the very top, so I'm going to move it up to number one. Do the same thing, or of other players, hide empty bar, show on friendlies, custom color it. I'm going to make it yellow. And the one to track is Weakened Soul. Now, when I cast my Power Word Shield, now it puts up the yellow bar, which shows me the weakened soul. I can't cast another Power Word Shield until that is depleted. That will stay there, even if Power Word Shield is knocked off of my tank or what have you. I'll still have that yellow bar up there until the weakened soul goes away, which is cool. I'm going to do a third one for Renew. I do a couple more than I'm going to show today, but uh, I'm just going to show this one as my last one. I'm going to put it on the left here. And same exact thing over here. Custom color, I'll make it green. Okay, and now when I cast Renew, I'm going to close this out. Had some errors there, but it's no big deal. All right, I'm going to go into my powers because I don't have it on a bar right now, I don't think. So, Renew. When I cast that, uh-oh, what did I do? Oh, I know what I did. I forgot to track it. Let's go back in. We're on Renew. I need Aura to watch. Renew. Okay. There it is, right there. When I cast a Renew, it shows up there and depletes down that way. Now, the red over here is the overhealing. I usually turn that off on my raid frames so that they don't extend into other frames. If I were to cast... Um, something on myself that takes away some health. Now you can see it's showing me how much is being healed in a green bar there. So that that's a pretty cool effect. That also is automatic with Pitbull 4. But like I said, I would turn off the overhealing in my raid frames usually, but I might leave it here. All right. Now I'm going to go into Click. Now this little thing is added, Click Configuration, because I installed Click. The thing I want to do is go into Frames. I'm going to eliminate all these, because I only want selected frames to actually... Uh, utilize 
the clicks. In other words, when I, when I click on myself, I don't want any of my click powers to pop. I'm just going to disable them all. <clears throat> now, you'll notice it has Pitbull because I have it installed. It would also have Xperl if I had that installed. Or whatever you have installed, it, it'll throw it onto your click menu here. And I want click party unit buttons. And I want click uh, pet. Pitbull pet, Pitbull groups, party unit button one. And now that's how that works. And so now I'm going to just go into my powers with my click window up. This is, you need the click window up. You have to click on the click tab. I'm going to go into my powers. The first one I'm going to do is my power word shield. Now, just so you know, I always click default so that if you don't have anything set, when you use a left or a right mouse click on a player frame, it'll just target them. And I leave my left mouse that way because I like to be able to target people, especially because I don't have all of my healing powers on a click. I have some of them key bound, and I need to target people to then use the key bindings. Uh, but I'm going to make Power Word Shield. All I have to do is right click on Power Word Shield, and that sets it to where right button is Power Word Shield. Okay, if I want to use like um, Flash Heal, I might Control right click, and that sets my Flash Heal. If I want to use Penance, I might control left click, and that sets my penance, okay? And now, when I'm doing that on my mainframe, it just targets them because it defaults. But when I do that on my party frame, it's going to cast whatever I'm doing. Control left click for penance, control right click for flash heal, just right click by itself for power word shield. That's how to use click. It's extraordinarily convenient. One thing you'll notice is that as I'm doing these, it's not targeting me. So I can just heal away on all of my party frames and not actually be targeting. Say I have the tank targeted, or maybe I have the, the, the mob targeted so that I can uh, cast um, uh, you know, attack spells on him, and then I can heal away without, without changing my target. Um, another thing to keep in mind with click is you can actually cast offensive powers as well. You could set up your target frame to take offensive powers, and you could cast, you know, I could cast my sh shadow word pain or whatever through clicking if I wanted to. All right, and that's how those work. And now I'm going to give you a brief in-game demonstration of how it all comes together with my Pitbull layout. Okay, so we're putting it all together here now. Uh, the tank is the pink guy. Dairy knee or something like that. I figured this would be a good combat to kind of show you. I'm shielding anybody that takes damage, and you can see the yellow bar at the top is the weakened soul, and the green bar is the actual shield itself. Um, I can just cast my heals through my clicking. So I pretty much just mouse over and click. I don't know what happened here. This is... Ah, oh, there we go. There's some bad guys that we're fighting. I don't know if any of these guys are going to cast any magic or curses, but uh, if they do, you'll be able to see that. Oh, I'm trying to shield somebody who's already shielded. Silly me. Okay, and you can see the bars are, are, are going down right to left, and these guys are taking damage as they go. And I try and kind of keep shields up on everybody through much of this fight and some others like it because you just never quite know who might end up taking some damage. You can see that there's... Oh, wow, we're already done with that fight. I'll just keep going. You can see that there's... Um, uh, you know, the, it's, it's showing me what's being healed as I heal it by putting up a little green bar that indicates this is how much more is going to be healed. So all in all, it's it's uh, it's pretty slick the way it all works out. Oh, let me cast a Renew. I've got a Renew there. Uh, I can also cast a Prayer of Mending. That'll show you that. You'll notice the shield went away, but he's still got the weakened soul on him. All right, so that's how that works. I think that uh, it's pretty apparent that it's a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good setup that I have going here to tell me exactly what's going on, when, and what I need to cast. You didn't get to see the highlights for the, um, I guess we're going down. Oh, we aggroed. That's not a good thing. Didn't get to see the highlights for the various different things that were going on, but, um, oh boy, we're hosed. If that druid will get, hey, there he is, now I can heal him. And there we go. And that's basically how this works. I uh, hope it's been informative. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and have a great day.